Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install useful backpacks in Minecraft 1.13.2. This is actually a really, really cool mod that allows you to get backpacks in game and actually use them, put stuff in them, store stuff, all sorts of stuff like that. It's a very, very cool mod to have, especially in like mod packs or if you're building out, you know, and just have tons and tons of stuff in your inventory. It's an easy way to store it all without having to like keep running back to your base while mining. First off though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown YZ slash Apex to get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected server that you and your friends can play on with mods, without mods, vanilla, mod packs, all sorts of different options with Apex, all installable with just one click. We actually use Apex to host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com. So, nevertheless, if you want an incredible, again, 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server, go to Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get useful backpacks installed. Doing so is pretty easy. You want to go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here this is the useful backpacks mod where we want to click on the earlier versions button here see that where it says earlier versions click on that and it will take us off to curse forge here where we want to make sure we're downloading the 1.13.2 version of this mod as you can see we are 1.13.2 is right there so we want to come on over and click the orange download button on the 1.13.2 version it will then go ahead take us off to this page where the download will begin in three two and wait for it there we go download is now starting and it will pop up in the center of our screen now if you're on google chrome it'll pop up in the bottom left of your screen and it'll ask if you want to keep the file as long as it starts with useful and ends with dot jar which ours does it starts with useful and ends with dot jar we can save the file on mozilla firefox on google chrome it's the same thing in the bottom left as long as it starts with useful and ends with dot jar you can go ahead and click keep to keep that file so we're going to go ahead and save this. Now we aren't done downloading yet. We still got two more things we need to download. The first is actually the U-Team Core. This is required in order to run useful backpacks. It's a core mod, meaning useful backpacks need stuff from this mod in order to run and work. So we need to download it. Doing that is very simple. Link is in the description down below. I believe it's the third link down below. And it will take you here, the U-Team Core, where you again want to click on earlier versions. Once you've done that, it'll take you off to the download page here, where again, we want to make sure we're downloading the 1.13.2 version. Doing this is pretty easy. Just make sure it says 1.13.2 here under game version and then come over and click the orange download button on that version. It'll then again take us off to Curse Forge's download page where we have to wait five seconds. After those five seconds, it'll do the same thing that useful backpacks did. Pop up in the center of our screen and it'll say U-Team Core 1.13.2 where we want to save the file. Now, if you're on Google Chrome, it did something a bit different. It'll pop up in the bottom left and as long as it starts with U-Team and ends in .jar, you're going to go ahead and keep the file on Google Chrome. Again, save the file on Mozilla Firefox and keep it on Google Chrome. After that, there's still one more thing we need to download and that is going to be Forge. If you go down to the description down below and click what I believe is the fourth link, it's absolutely crazy. When you click on that link, it'll take you off to this. This is our Forge download installation tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to get Forge in this tutorial. So all you need to do is click on this green download Forge button. That will take us off to Forge's official website where we want to make sure that this is for version 1.13.2. As we can see here, MC 1.13.2. If it doesn't say MC 1.13.2 here, just click on the uh, 1.13 drop down menu over here and then click on 1.13.2, then you'll be good to go. Just come under download latest and click on the installer button right here and it'll go ahead and take us off to add focus. Where? Don't click anything on this page. Stop. Don't click anything. You need to wait six seconds. No, stop. Your download is not ready. It is lying to you. You want to wait six seconds and in the top right, you see that red skip button up there? Click that red skip button in the top right and then it'll open this up on Mozilla Firefox. Same thing in Google Chrome. It's in the bottom left. And as long as it starts with Forge and ends with .jar, you're good to save the file on Mozilla Firefox. And in the bottom left, as long as it starts with Forge and ends in .jar, you can keep the file on Google Chrome. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now if we minimize our browser, we do have a bunch of stuff open. Hold on, let me go ahead and get all of this closed out of. We can delete this from a previous tutorial. And now we have these three files. We have Useful Backpack, we have U-Team Core, and we have Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. Click on the little Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon there. Click on that, and then in here you want to type in Downloads. You will then have a Downloads folder here, File Folder in Windows. Click on that, and you'll find Useful Backpacks, U-Team Core, and Forge in your Downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. 
Once these are on your desktop, you can then go ahead and start off by installing Forge. Right click on it and then click on Open With and then you should have Java TM Platform SCA Binary. If you don't or if you do and you click OK and it doesn't work, then we need to go to the description of this video and find the download Java link. This is how you can download the Java SDK which is needed not only to run Forge but also run Optifine, run a Minecraft server, all that you need. Java SDK. So come here, click on the download link and you'll be good to go. This walks you through everything, how to get the correct version, all of that stuff. Now, if you go back and you still can't get Forge to open, you need to run the jar fix, which is also, of course, linked in the description down below. Go down there and it'll take you here where you can download the jar fix and run it. It's a very simple program, but it basically fixes all the jar files on your computer to work with Java again. Now, if we minimize our browser, we can finally, finally, right click on Forge, click on open with, Click on Java TM Platform SC Binary and click OK. This will open up the Forge installer here where we can click on Install Client and then click, of course, OK. Now to go through, install Forge, do all this stuff. At this point, if this doesn't work, you just need to go play Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods, no Optifine, no anything installed. Come back and then it will work. But as you can see, it's worked for us. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge. We can go ahead and click OK. And now we need to install Useful Backpacks and U-Team Core. This is actually very easy. Just click on that little Windows icon. Again, it's in the top left for me, but it's going to be in the bottom left of your screen. That little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that and then type in run, R-U-N, exactly like that. Then you have this run desktop app here. Click on that and then in this run desktop app, in this like little search text box here, you want to type percent app data percent, percent app data percent, exactly like that, and then click OK. It'll open up our roaming folder here where you should have a .minecraft folder. And in the .minecraft folder, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, no worries, neither do I, now that I deleted the one that was there. But no worries if you don't have a mods folder. Don't freak out about it. Just right click, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then open up our newly created mods folder. Then in our newly created mods folder, we want to drag useful backpacks and also the U-Team core into it, right? Like so. Now, we aren't done just yet. If you just open up the Minecraft launcher and click play, it won't work for you. You need to make sure you've selected the correct profile. To do that, click the little green arrow next to the play button, click on Forge here, and then click play. However, if you don't have the Forge profile, no worries. Click the three lines up here in the top right, click on launch options, and then click on add new. Now, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I doing that? Because it is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. 1.13.2, great protected survival, incredible custom factions, custom skyblock. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. You will absolutely love it. We've got the best survival, factions, and skyblock out there. I guarantee it. Nevertheless, after you've got your name entered there, we can click on the version drop down box here where we want to come down until we see a 1.13.2-forge. See, right there it is. Release 1.13.2-forge. Click on that, and then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing it so uh, you guys will be able to see once we do get in game here. 1920 by 1080. And then we can go ahead and click the Save button. Now we want to come back over to the News tab. Click the little green arrow next to the Play button. This time we want to select the Play.BreakdownCraft.com profile there. The best Minecraft server in the multiverse. And then click Play. Now we'll go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.13.2 with useful backpacks installed. Then after it's open, I'll jump into a quick creative world and show you that it is in fact up and working. I'll see you on the Minecraft main menu. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu and if we click the mods tab here, we do see U-Team Core, but also useful backpacks. Pretty cool stuff there. Now we can go ahead and just jump into a new creative world where I can show you that in fact these backpacks are in game. These are really, really cool. It's a cool addition to Minecraft. And I love to see these mods starting to come out for 1.13. For a while now, it's just been like kind of little tweak mods. But this is a more serious mod that does actually add something to the game. So if we come over here and click on useful backpacks, we can see all of the different backpacks they have. For example, let's get one that's like breakdown blue. Like this right here is about breakdown blue. I like it. So let's go ahead, click on that, and you can see all of the stuff you can store in these backpacks. Put that in there and then open it back up and it is all still there. I don't think there's any denying that uh, these are in game. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out. And come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, guaranteed. Additionally, subscribe to the channel for more awesome mod tutorials as well as weekly live streams every single weekend. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.